Hi and welcome to my third video in the series about energy and ecosystems and today we're going to be looking at different types of fertilisers. Um, and so fertilisers can come in two forms, they can either be natural or artificial. Um, natural means made by um, organisms and artificial means made by another process. Um, and basically they provide certain nutrients that plants require to grow. Um, and we use them to maximise uh, the yield um, and essentially yield um, is the amount of product produced and so therefore it would increase the amount of profit a um, farm could make. And so the two types, artificial and natural, um, and the types of things that they contain would be iron and potassium, calcium and magnesium, um, and without them we wouldn't get um, the high yield that we would normally get um, that you find in the supplies to supermarkets that means that farmers can actually turn a profit. So in natural fertilisers, here are some examples. You have human manure, animal manure and compost. Um, some of the advantages, this is particularly about just two British farmers. Um, they have a good supply of natural fertilisers available. Um, so some human waste is recycled also. Farmers may recycle the waste from their animals and be able to spread that on their crops. It's reasonably cheap, um, so it's reasonably inexpensive. Um, it doesn't have any negative effects on the environment, so it doesn't cause leaching. Um, or, um, and so an excess is growth of algae. Some of the diff, uh, disadvantages is the fact that it can be very, very difficult to transport. Um, you need, obviously, to cover a field, um, you'll need a, a large amount, and therefore you'll need um, large vehicles to be able to transport it. Um, the amount of nutrients uh, per kilogram isn't as good as artificial. Um, so pound for pound, artificial is probably uh, more efficient. Um, and obviously there's the associated smell that you get with it. So artificial fertilisers, easy to transport, they can be con um, condensed down into small volumes and so it's easy to move and transport. It's simple to use and store, you can keep it in effectively plastic bottles and it will keep for um, a long period of time. Um, and they provide more nutrients per kilo than um, natural fertilisers. Some of the issues with them is they can damage the environment and cause things like leaching and eutrophication. It can be quite expensive. Um, and the production of the artificial fertilisers involves um, this can sometimes require fossil fuels to produce them and so can have harmful effects in that um, way. These have all been for British farmers. Now obviously for um, other farmers around the world where um, manure or human waste isn't always available then the only option is for um, to use artificial and um, so it can vary from place to place. And so what farmers are aiming to do is to imp improve their net productivity so by applying things like fertilizers they want to increase um, the amount of yield that they can produce and so this leads us to this equation and it's the net productivity equals the gross productivity minus the rate of respiration and just to establish what these terms mean the gross productivity is the production of organic material from photosynthesis um, the net productivity is the amount of dry mass stored in the plant minus the rate of respiration and so you've probably got a pay packet before where you've um, seen your gross pay and then um, viewed it after you've had your deductions taken off um, and got your net pay. And so essentially we can think of the gross productivity a bit like the rate of photosynthesis and the, the amount of material that the plant can make um, by photosynthesis. And the net productivity is where you compare that um, to the amount of respiration that takes place and you take that away and you end up with a net productivity. Um, and essentially most farming activities are designed um, to increase uh, the net productivity and to reduce the losses. If you join me on my next video, um, well, we'll be looking at pesticides.